Hello, welcome to Tech Math. In this session, we will discuss about another DB2 SQL function, which is current timestamp. So, current timestamp function is mainly used to retrieve the current timestamp, which will include current date as well as current time. So, the overall purpose to use this function is to uh, reduce the number of columns from the log file. Let's say if you are maintaining one log file where previously we were using the current date and current time separate columns right using uh, function current date and current time we are maintaining the separate two column which uh, shows the current date and current time now instead of using two columns we can create one single column with current timestamp and there we can use this function current timestamp to uh, retrieve the current date as well as current time in a single column okay so this is the advantage of using current timestamp now how we can use this in SQL RPG program let's see so for that you just need to click on this uh, like you can open this program and here what we are doing we are simply creating one uh, constant which is SQL state underscore valid with five times zeros and this constant variable we are going to use in order to verify whether the query is executed successfully or not then we are declaring the variable result uh, and the data type of this variable is timestamp below to this we are using uh, com we are setting the commitment control as star none then we are using the main query so to use the main query you just need to write exec SQL then write select current timestamp into and this is my host variable result so it will firstly fetch the current timestamp and will store it into the host variable result and from where this data is coming that this data is coming from sys ibm dot sys dummy one okay so once this query is executed then we will verify it if it is executed properly or not so we are checking if sql state equals to sql state underscore valid then we are printing the result else we are printing the SQL state because it will show the error along with an error message query ended with an error then end if and INLR on okay so this is all about this program and the syntax is quite simple you just need to write current space timestamp so now let me quickly compile this program and call this so here you can see it is uh, displaying current timestamp which include year month day hours minutes and seconds and then milliseconds okay so this is how current timestamp we can uh, this is how we can fetch the current timestamp using SQL RPG LA program fine can we use the same query over the DB2 SQL query yes we can use for that you just need to copy this go to str SQL str SQL just paste it and now we will slightly customize it because we are using on db2 direct so no need for host variable and this comma can be removed and here we are using select current timestamp from sys ibm dot sys dummy one and then simply hit enter so you can see here also it is printing that date uh, current timestamp where date and time is there okay so this is the one way through which we can execute the query now another thing is what are all other options uh, where we can use this current timestamp let's say if you are working for a table I will show you select star from table 1 and here you can see we are storing timestamp but now we, I want to update it for the third uh, ID is also like I want to update the data for third ID so here what we can do there is no need to write uh, the timestamp manually what we can do we can simply use the function here how just simply go and write update press f4 put your file name in my case file name is table 1 which resides in library sharmit 1 and hit enter put your timestamp so instead of writing it manually I will simply pass my function here current timestamp then hit enter take f4 in where condition select id equals to 3 and hit enter you can see row is updated now if check you can see 
current time has been added for the third row. So this makes our task easy, right? Because we are not writing date and time manually. We, we are just fetching it with the help of function. Okay, and you can see there is a difference between the time here. Date is same because we are doing it in a same uh, uh, same day, but time is a bit different. Okay, in a same manner, you can use this uh, current timestamp with insert query, where qu where clause. Let's say if there is one file where you uh, have stored some data, and I want to fetch the specific data which uh, which is modified or added on a particular date and time. So in that case, I can use uh, timestamp in where clause, and I can fetch those records. Okay. In the same manner, you can use with the uh, subquery functions. So you can use this current timestamp where is wherever it is needed. Okay. So yeah, I hope it is clear to all of you. In the next session, we will discuss few more things. So thank you for watching Tech Sharmat.